second largest gold miner, Barrick Gold, has denied any claims made by Mali's government that it failed to abide by commitments made in a recent agreement. The Canadian miner is responding to allegations from Mali's mining ministry that it was guilty of breaches relating to environmental and corporate social responsibility as well as foreign exchange rules. The ministry said there are serious risks to the group's continued operations in the country. In response, Barrick denied those allegations, saying it had been actively engaging with the government to reach a settlement that will include an increase in the state's share of economic benefits from the mines. And India's Adani Group is facing yet another challenge in Kenya. A Kenyan court has suspended a $736 million government deal to allow the firm to build and operate high-voltage power transmission lines in the country for 30 years. Now, Kenya's Law Society argued that the deal is a constitutional sham that is tainted with secrecy. A high court has restrained authorities from implementing the project or entering into any new agreements with Adani involving Kenya's electric power infrastructure. This will be the second deal that Kenyan courts have frozen. They previously suspended a plan to allow Adani to operate the nation's main international airport. Electric vehicle maker Tesla saw its stock hit its best levels in over a decade, soaring as much as 22% in trading. And that's after reporting surprisingly strong earnings that topped analysts' estimates in the third quarter. Revenue increased 8% from a year earlier, while net income rose to about $2.2 billion from $1.9 billion a year ago. Investors also reacted to CEO Elon Musk's projecting vehicle growth will reach 20% to 30% next year, citing lower-cost vehicles and the advent of autonomy. He also said Tesla plans to start production of its recently unveiled CyberCab by the end of 2026, and it plans to conduct driverless ride-hailing in California and Texas next year in its existing cars.